Hello there and happy Friday. Oh my gosh, isn't Friday's pizza night? All right, well, I am so excited you're here today because I'm going to show you how to make waffled cauliflower pizza. Oh my goodness, so quick, so easy, and so tasty. So welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I am thrilled that you're here today. And I'm actually excited I'm here today too because I usually do my cooking show on Thursdays. So what I love is we have flexibility, right? And so this is Debbie's Healthy Kitchen Friday edition. So let's get cooking, all right. So I wanna go over all of the ingredients on what you're gonna need for this recipe. So you're going to need a waffle maker. So you can have one of the little mini waffle makers or your average size uh, waffle maker will work as well. All right, you're gonna need some cooking spray. You're also going to need some frozen cauliflower rice and any kind will do. Um, you're also going to want some low fat or reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese as well as some liquid egg whites and some Italian seasoning. And then of course whatever your favorite toppings are. And so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to put this all together. So I've already got um, my waffle maker here. Hopefully you can uh, see it all right and it's plugged in all ready to go i've already sprayed it it's piping hot and so we're just going to make the crust and so we're going to start with that frozen cauliflower rice so i'm just going to put that in my bowl it's kind of funny because um all three of my kids were here the other day and they talked about how every Friday after work, I would go grab one of those take and bake pizzas and bring it home after work. And oh boy, had I known about this cauliflower pizza crust, I would have been making those back then too. All right, so we got our cauliflower rice and now we've got our mozzarella cheese in the bowl. Just gonna stir that up. And then uh, we're going to use our Italian seasoning. Just sprinkle a little bit in here. Okay, and I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments below um, after I'm done here. So don't worry about having to take notes or anything. I'll be posting for you. And then we need our um, egg whites. And I just buy a carton of egg whites. Um, it's a little more economical that way. All right. And like I said, this is just pretty simple. It just takes those uh, four ingredients for the crust. And so all you're gonna do is just mix this all around till all the ingredients are combined. And then um, because I'm using a mini waffle maker, I am just going to put half of this mixture in my waffle iron. And then when that uh, pizza crust is done, then I'll put in the remaining. And it actually takes four of these for one serving. So you can use a regular waffle maker as well and uh, then one whole waffle crust <laughs> is one serving. All right, so I'm opening up my waffle maker here and I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna put that in, half of it, like I said. And it is a little um, runny only because we have the liquid egg, egg whites in there. And so I'm just spreading that around Now it actually will cook for about three to four minutes. Now, depending on how um, crisp you like your crust. And so I found that three to four minutes works really well. It'll give you uh, this uh, color, 
but if you like it a little crispier, like I said, you'll just cook it a little bit longer. The other thing you can do is uh, once you make your crust, okay, you can put your toppings on it and then uh, put these on like a piece of parchment paper on a cookie line, a cookie sheet in the oven and uh, just pop those in the oven until they're hot and um, kind of, your, depending on your ingredients, if you want additional cheese on there, you'll be able to see if it's getting hot and melty, then you can just pull them out of the oven. So um, I actually put this one in my toaster oven afterwards um, just for about a minute and it came out nice and crispy, so pretty good. And so um, I'm gonna keep on letting that cook because if we open that up too soon, then it's going to split apart. And so what I um, put on this particular uh, pizza crust was a little bit of sauce. And so because I am cooking healthy, I don't wanna have a lot of sugary sauce uh, so make sure when you are um, checking out the pizza sauces that you take a look at the ingredients because some are really high in carbs and sugar. And so the best thing really to do is get yourself a can of chopped tomatoes, like diced tomatoes, and then you can just puree them yourself or mash them up with a fork until um, it's more liquid. And then you can just add in a little bit of Italian seasoning if you would like. Um, otherwise, you can just use those tomatoes. Now on this particular pizza, I did put the uh, tomatoes on and a little bit of chopped green pepper and some turkey pepperoni. And then I will be reheating these um, and putting on some uh, little bit of Parmesan cheese as well as some fresh chopped tomatoes out of our garden. And so really quick and easy. What I love about these as well as so fun for the kiddos to make. So if you have um, children at home or even when the grandkids come over, whatever, or just for yourself because they're yummy, um, they're fun to make and so you can make these crusts ahead of time, like I said, and then just have your family uh, put their own toppings on. So you could have like a little pizza bar and put all your favorite toppings and little bowls on the counter and then just have the kids put on their own toppings, put them all in the oven for just a few minutes to warm them up and get all of those toppings nice and bubbly hot. And then it's just a fun, um, night and being creative with your pizza. And so I'm gonna peek and see how this one is doing. Aha, uh -huh. looks good. So you just wanna make sure you use um, a spatula. And so there we go. Nice and piping hot, Woo. definitely. And so that is it. That's all it takes to make this little pizza crust. And so, like I said, I've already put most of my toppings on. I don't have my fresh tomatoes that I'm gonna be putting on, but I am definitely going to be tasting one of these. So here we go. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's definitely good. Mm. I'm gonna be making up a bunch of these um, because a lot of times my hubby when he walks in after you know working in the yard or whatever, he wants to have a snack, like a half a sandwich or something. And um, you know, this would be a lot healthier for him um, because it's made out of vegetables, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna make a bunch of these ahead of time so I can just uh, pop them in um, the oven and we'll rewarm them so they're all ready to go. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. And um, if you did, please give me some thumbs up. If you love this recipe, still got my mouth full of pizza here. Mm. If you love this recipe, then uh, give me a little heart. And like I said, I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments when I'm all done. 
but feel free to uh, share this um, video to your page, uh, tag your friends, um, and if you can't seem to find the recipe, just send me a little message. I'd be happy to send it over to you. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful uh, Friday, and you know what? Let's go eat. Bye-bye.